More than 7,000 suspected cholera cases have been reported during this ongoing outbreak. 150 deaths have been confirmed. Now, the current outbreak can be traced back to a province in the southwest of the country. However, it has spread to 45 districts around the entire nation of Zimbabwe. Harare has now become a hotspot given some of the challenges that residents face here in terms of poor provision of water, broken down in aging sewer and sanitation infrastructure as well as overcrowding in some of the densely populated suburbs. The mayor of Harare has said that the current outbreak has similarities to another outbreak in 2008, which is the worst the country has ever seen. More than 4,000 lives were lost back then. This time round, authorities are scaling up their response uh, uh, to the crisis and have started delivering clean water to affected suburbs. They've banned the vending of food in public in certain areas and are limiting uh, public gatherings. The government of Zimbabwe had earlier committed 12 million US dollars for the cholera response. Public health officials have called for the beefing up of manpower at the public hospitals and clinics that are attending to those who have been infected and are also calling for the increased awareness and publicity campaigns so people know what to do in order to prevent uh, getting infected and to protect themselves uh, from this acute disease. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.